Welcome back to the Joy of Vinyl. I'm Rick Coast. If you're new to vinyl records and shopping for a new turntable, you might find yourself encountering choices and terminology that's a little bit intimidating if you're not familiar with it. You'll hear things like belt-driven turntable or direct-drive turntable and wonder what it all means. Well, I'm here to tell you and help you out with some of that. So let's take a few moments to explore belt-driven and direct-driven or direct-drive turntables. With all passions or hobbies comes debate. If you're a fly fisher, it will be the type of fly for different situations or even the materials used. If you play guitar, it might be the old Fender versus Gibson debate. It could even be who is stronger, the Hulk or Superman. You know, as with any great debate, there's often no solution. Opinions are subjective and subjectivity comes in many flavors, as do passions. There's always debates, especially in the world of vinyl. So we're going to visit another one. The question today is, should you buy a direct or belt-driven turntable? Now, if you just started out on your vinyl journey, you may not even know the difference. So let's get right into it. A belt-driven turntable uses a belt to rotate the platter. In most cases, you can actually see the belt. It wraps around the outer edge of the turntable's platter and is connected to a motor off to the side. The belt wraps around the motor's spindle. Now, I've also seen belt drives where the belt is hidden beneath the platter, but more often than not, it's on the outside. The belts themselves are typically made of elastic or elastic-like cords, which now leads us to the direct drive. Now, if you've guessed that a direct drive doesn't rely on a belt to spin the platter, you're absolutely right. The motor is positioned below the platter within the turntable's casing. The motor maintains the proper speed of the rotation, be it 33 and a third rotations per minute or 45. You can also have a 78 RPM turntable. So which is better? You know it can't be that easy, right? Now I've used both and my current setup is belt driven. I prefer the simplicity of the belt driven system, but that's me. And when I say simple, I don't mean in use, I mean in the mechanics of how it works. Again, this is my current preference. I'm not saying it's better and that you should buy one too. I'm here to help you make an informed decision and your own opinion may change over time. That's the joy of vinyl. So back to the question about which is better. That's the wrong question. Tricked you. The question really is, what's the difference and what does it mean to you and your listening experience? So let's consider the belt drive first. The feature that drew me to it after years of using direct drives is that the motor isn't situated beneath the turntable. It's also a simpler design. It's quiet, the motor sits off to the side, and because the platter never comes into contact with it, the chance of unwanted vibrations reaching the stylus is minimized. Now, if there's one thing that will ruin your experience, it's vibrations. So the only connection between the motor and the platter is the belt itself. What else does it mean to have a belt-driven turntable? Well, it means the belt will wear down over time, so that'll have to be replaced. It's a simple thing to do, and you shouldn't have to do it more than once every three years, but it's something to keep in mind. Another thing is the time it takes to come up to speed. So because it relies on a belt connected to a motor, it will take a second or two for the platter to reach the desired rotation. That's not a big deal, but again, something to be aware of. With the direct drive turntable, it can be as easy as taking it out of the box and turning it on. There's no belt to worry about, and the platter will hit its revolution per minute instantaneously. Now, if you're a DJ, you'll love the direct drive and the fact that you can spin the platter back and forth with the motor off and with little to no resistance. Now, because of their ease of use and maintenance, direct drives are a very popular choice. As I mentioned earlier, there is the chance that the motor will interfere with the sound, but turntable manufacturers are aware of this and take great pains to minimize any interference. There is a myth to bust. You may come across the claim that belt-driven turntables are for audiophiles who care about sound and that direct drive turntables are more for DJs or casual listeners and that sound is secondary because of their construction. This is absolutely not true. While DJs will prefer direct drives, it's only because of the inherent mechanics of the solution. Direct drive turntables were around long before the era of DJ created music. So there are turntables made with DJs in mind, but that's not what drives 
and there was no pun intended there. That's not what drives the market. One last word. Don't overanalyze or read every article you can find about which one to buy. You'll suffer from analysis paralysis and your dream turntable will sit forever on the horizon and never make it into your home. Trust me, there are quality makers of both. And I would bet that with most, you wouldn't know the difference with your eyes closed.